Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up VS Code like Adam. Adam was a great text editor that was discontinued at the end of December 2022. And right now the Pulsar editor has taken on the legacy of Adam. But if you want to use VS Code because it's being updated so much, but want it to look and feel like Adam, this video is for you. But first though, if you like videos where I show you how to set up and install software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. So I have VS Code open. The first thing I want to do is change the theme. So I'm going to go to my extensions here and I'm going to search for one dark, which is the default theme for VS Code or for Atom rather. And I see this one dark pro. I'm going to click install. Once this uh, plugin is installed, I'll uh, choose one dark pro to get my editor to look more like Adam, okay? Another thing, uh, Adam tends to be minimal, so I'm gonna take care of this activity bar and sidebar and the status bar. Uh, I'm just going to toggle the minimap off by bringing my command palette and searching for toggle minimap. I'm gonna bring up the command palette again, toggle the activity bar, the left bar out, and I'm gonna bring up the command palette again and toggle the status bar out. Okay, so there we go. We've got a pretty minimal setup. It's starting to look like Adam, but our key maps aren't the same. So when, it, when the activity bar is out, I could toggle it back on, but one quick way to add in an extension is do Control Shift X, okay? And what I'm gonna search for is Adam. And I'm gonna install this Adam key map. Okay, once that's out of the way, I can do Control Shift E to bring back up the sidebar and close it out with the Control uh, backslash behind or below the backspace. So just like Adam, and now I can start to use the Adam key bindings to work on uh, my files. One more thing I might want to do to get it to, like Adam is bring up my settings and set the default tab size to two, which is the default tab size for Adam. But besides that, I'm, I'm pretty good. My VS Code is gonna perform a lot like the Atom text editor, except it gets all the updates of VS Code, but it has all the look and feel of Atom. Hopefully this video was helpful to, helpful to you if you're an Atom user, and if it was, uh, please give it a like. Thank you.